Hey, what's up guys? In this guide, I'm going to talk about how to play the Awakening Witch in a very good way. First, I will go and give you a short introduction of the class, how she feels like and how to play the character and how good she is in her current state. After this, we will roll straight into mobility, how she moves around and what to expect. I'll show some illustrations and a few skills. We teleport right into the uh, summoning skills and thereafter we go through the skills you have to use before the DPS combo. These are the pulling DP down skills and the skill buffs. After knowing what to do pre-combo, now it's time to explain the actual add-ons and combos. Lastly, I will say a few ending words. Before we go into it, I appreciate it if everyone subscribed to the YouTube channel, give the video a like and make sure to watch throughout the whole video to get a better and full understanding of the class. The support means a lot to me as a content creator to keep on going and to keep on delivering high quality videos such as these. Let's get into it. The Awakening Witch is a very stationary class that moves around using teleports and sprinting. She has big AoEs and does great damage overall, usually throwing out range skills. She has a few buffs and debuffs and two summons that you can pick between the ones that suit you the best. Whenever you play the Awakening Witch in PvE, you usually go pack to pack using the teleport and a few times sprinting in on fixed locations to pull the monsters to you. She has a lot of forward guards, so even if you feel like you're not too squishy, your gear is going to break very quickly. Protection wise is very good on the Awakening Witch, and you rarely get CC'd if you position yourself good and throw out the combo chains. She is very easy to learn how to play and get into using the various mobilities, buffs, debuffs, pulls, summons and DPS combo. Let's check out her mobility. The Awakening Witch primary movement is teleporting and sprinting. If the monsters take longer to kill, you don't need to worry about sprinting because you already have your teleport ready for use. If you do not kill the monsters very quickly, you do have to sprint to every other pack doing the rotations. Usually grinding in places where you don't need to move too much would often be the most comfortable for the Awakening Witch. Let's take a look at her summons. She has two summons, one called Keeper Gore and the other one Keeper Tet. In my opinion, it doesn't really matter which one you play with, but they do have different pros to them. You can only summon one of them at a time, and if you need to change summons, you just press F to swap. Just having any summons out will give you 700 MP and 10% movement speed at the current state. In addition to this, the Keeper Gore, aka the Mini Uvulon, gives you on Equilibrium Break an increased attack area and increased attack speed and a Gore effect on to attack too. It also gives you on Fisher Wave increased Perfect Sign attack area and adds perfect sign to attack free. The Keeper Tet will give you Voltaic Pulse, a third attack, and on Thunderstorm, add effect to attack free. Make sure to always have your summon out. Let's check on the Pulse and DP Down skills. After you summoned your pet and moved into a monster pack, now it's time for you to pull and DP down the monsters near you. If you kill the monsters with one or two skills, there is no reason to use a pull skill. If you need to do a lot of DPS on monsters and they die in a combo, it would be nice to do a pull and DP down skill. Usually I would use Magic Lighthouse that I put on the hotbar in combination with a Toxic Flood. Both of them gives DP down, but they won't stack because both are skill debuffs. Depending if your clear speed is faster, you could also use both of these in a rotation or you skip them entirely like I mentioned before. Either way, just playing with them, you will learn when to use them and when to not use them. Usually the harder the monsters, 
the more of a reason to use both of them at the same time. Now let's take a look at the buff skills. There is two buff skills that you want to rotate. One of them is the awakening skill E-buff Psyche of Add Sphere. The other one is the main skill buff speed spell. The reason you want to rotate these skills to not have them active at the same time is that the cast speed doesn't stack. So it's better to rotate so you more often have the cast speed increase. Usually just pop whatever buff uh, you can in the middle of the combo or before is very good. Just make sure you play with them as much as you can. Let's take a look at the add-ons and then into the combo. This is the add-ons I'm playing with overall and they work very good. I'm always making sure I play with tier 3 add-ons uh, critical hit rate and monster AP. Just rotating the combo you will always keep these up. If you want to optimize even more, of course, you can swap the down attack if not needed to crit. Also, if you fight against humans, I would swap Barrage of Lightning Monster AP to Human AP. Let's teleport into the combo. This is how the combo looks like. Remember everything I mentioned about the summons, the pulls, DP down, buff skills and mobility? Now you need to implement all of these into the grind with the combo. It might sound very complicated, but it's actually very easy. If you play step by step, you should be able to get comfortable in less than an hour. One thing to mention about this combo chain is that if you have slower cast speed, you can skip on Fisher Wave at the end. If you have faster cast speed, you can implement Fisher Wave at the end of the combo to do more DPS output, restarting the combo. This is in combination with your speed spell, Psyche of Add Sphere and C buff because they give you cast speed. If you want to play it out either way, no worries, you're gonna be smashing. Now take a look at the, how the combo is set up. You have to rotate this combo every other chain. It's without the yoke of ordeal and barrage of lightning because their cooldowns are so high. Just make sure you rotate and you're fine, that is all. Let me show you a couple of examples before giving you some ending words. Personally playing and learning the Awakening Witch was a fun process in the beginning, but, but that fun process kind of disappeared quickly into an easy, comfortable grind. It was very easy to learn and because of how strong she is in PvE at the current state, she just smashes everything with ease. You can always optimize the grind so you can pull more trash and do better, and the biggest difference uh, you're going to see in how good you are 
is if you learn how to pull correctly at the different grind spots. Positioning is therefore very important, even more important than throwing out the perfect combos at every single pack. At the end of all, this is the Awakening which is very chill and is perfect for someone that wants to play easy mode and not really moving around too much. If you check the whole video and uh, take into account everything mentioned, you will be able to play her like a god. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want more videos like this, or if you just want to support a shill content creator, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube, leave a comment, watch the video and like them. Everything helps out, be live every single day. Don't forget to join up on Discord and Twitter for more information and good hangs. Thank you guys and catch you in the next one.